Hello everyone. Today in this video we are going to see one topic of cyber security module 2. So let us start. Company cyber security process means I will be telling you let how to protect your company data using cyber security that means company data is very very confidential is very very important is very very useful for the organization maybe educational organization maybe company organization or maybe government offices company data is very very important so let us start Cyber security policy is a formal set of rules by which those people who are given access to company technology and information assets must accept. That means whatever cyber security rules are, are there that should be accepted, that should not be stolen, Okay, that should be properly uh, followed. Cyber security policy may make all employees aware of information security by security policies help us deal with problems such as arise and to meet our complaints training requirement what is risk that we are going to see what is big deal risk of damaging company reputation that means employees should be aware that uh, whatever the information they are handling in company or outside the company that information is very useful that is very crucial how to manage that information that is very important so it should be it should be secret it should be secret because it is very useful for organization companies then there are some technology related reasons such as new viruses or malware so whatever information whatever data is there in company that should be protected because a lot of things are there that uh, uh, hackers try to do that is the one thing is that virus virus creating virus it may be come from mail it may come from pain drive it may come from um, social networking different different way the viruses are coming that means uh, you should not open the um, mail from unknown person you should not click on um, attachment because the name because the mail is come from unknown person okay like uh, then uh, we can say <coughs> this so this thing should taken be care you should not uh, tell your username and password to anybody else these are the some uh, so virus may attack any time be careful about that company loss important document left open that means if the documents which are very important and uh, uh, you had uh, your seniors have sent you the document and you are rendering here and there while opening the document and uh, on the uh, monitor by opening that document on the screen and you are rendering here and there it may happen that someone may read the document and me and he may miss he may misuse of that document so that care should be taken a computer without password remember that a computer should have password your laptop should have password your mobile should have password okay each and everything nowadays should have password because the data is very important data is plays a crucial role in the cyber security everything is done uh, that how to protect your data sensitive information is sent or encrypted email that means um, <clears throat> just now I give an example that mail uh, you may get mail uh, from unknown person and you click on the attachment and it may hamper your data and the virus uh, enter your system and it may damage your data so these things can happen so uh, without password encrypted email without password Encrypt, encryption decryption we have seen uh, cryptography in previous uh, videos another part is social engineering yes social engineering is a very very um, easy place to access anybody uh, to to uh, to to communicate anybody else to your friends colleagues relatives so take care that you you not you should not cross your boundaries when you are uh, accessing social engineering you should be kept in proper uh, way 
that what you are accessing with social engineering okay you should not cross the boundaries if you cross the boundaries it may happen that it may happen that calling from another company office and asking for protected information it may happen that the person who is from another the person who is from another office and he is and he has sent you friend request and when he when you confirm the friend request he is communicating with you asking something and want something from your uh, organization and uh, critical information that should be prohibited that should be um, well understood that what he is talking and what you are uh, giving information that should be information should be managed properly that what cyber security tells security policy update antivirus update antivirus in the sense your antivirus should be updated it should be uh, updated by the internet if your if your system is not updated then new virus can attack your system and and it may um, hamper your system don't install unapproved software means uh, you should not install the untrusted software keep your computer operating system current by installing updates when you are notified by them that means if your seniors or your colleague tell that this software we need uh, in our laptop that should be in place so it should be updated it should be updated it should not be like that uh, you are installing software and you are left off and after few months your colleague is asking that whether you updated the software and you are telling oh i don't uh, uh, idea so this thing should not be there uh, you, your software should be updated at regular interval what are there in your uh, system like um, uh, in a linux operating system we use the command uh, apt get update apt get update means update the software all the software in the operating system in the laptop log off or log your computer screen when not in use remember that your laptop or your desktop always you should have username and password that is very important username and password is very important so whenever you are not on the rendering here and there in that case your lock screen should have password if lock screen doesn't have password it may happen that some unknown person can also open your system and can also stolen your information and it may be um, very problematic for you so your lock screen or your login logout should have password and it should be encrypt it should be not dictionary based it should not be dictionary based it should be um, like uh, what is, there are rules uh, for uh, creating password like uh, what we say password should be more than eight characters password should contain um, capital letters as well as small letters password should contain special characters okay so user password user password protected screen saver that should be there in your laptop or in your desktop physically lock up documents that contains sensitive information the documents the files which are very very important that should be kept lock that means that should be kept password with uh, high security password never write your password down remember that uh, it may happen that for remember, remembering the password you may write the password uh, on some page or some um, whatsapp so uh, this should not happen you should remember your password but you should not write down your password in your, uh, uh, anywhere else because in company lot of people are rendering in, in front of you in uh, nearer to you so it may happen that a page or the where you have written the password that may be get to wrong person and who may try to disturb your data never open email attachment that come from uh, you don't know from people you don't know just now i told you that you should not read the emails that come for you from the unknown person from the unknown person you should read your uh, you should read your uh, read your emails that come from your known person that uh, from colleague organization or uh, close friend okay or friends but not unknown friends the key is to make security habit and protect your computer company data 
resources and reputation so all these things are told by cyber security to make uh, the security habit and protect your company data and resources and reputation because if your data is secured your company is good and your company reputation is also good so let us grid computing so today i will be giving one example this uh, considering uh, this i will giving one example related to uh, related to a uh, security policy uh, related to company oriented uh, data how to protect your data how to uh, how to pro how to manage your data that is what it's told in cyber security we have gone through this uh, grid computing in previous lecture also but i want to tell you one best example that has told you uh, um, i want to tell you the best example that i am telling now of grid computing this is part of cloud computing suppose it is also known as under utilization it is used to protect resources it is just told that the key is to security habit and protect your company data resources and reputation so it helps maximum utilization of resources in organization we have many it components like you have servers computer you have different types of processor storage suppose your organization may have many servers in organization you may kept server for specific purpose now consider uh, i am working in one organization which have 6 uh, 6 to 7 servers okay 6 to 7 servers 6 servers in organization one server is handling the customer data one server is handling the employee data one server is handling the production data and we did dedicated server for specific purpose means uh, customer data on one server employee data on one server production data on one server we so we are kept a specific specific uh, point of view for specific server means each server has unique identity uh, for specific purpose we have dedicated servers for specific amount of work your server would look like this so these are uh, right now here only i shown you four server i am giving example so this is company uh, um, customer data this is customer data then employee data and production data employee data production data so these servers are independent of each other they are not connected to each other customer data server is not connected to is not connected to employee data not connected to production data these are independent server they are not uh, dependent on each other so these four servers are independent each of them is having dedicated task so these are the servers grid computing now this server perform dedicated task suppose one server is taking care of customer okay right customer some website this server may capacity of handling 50000 customer uh, request in one second so customer server this customer server is hand is able to handle is able to handle uh, capacity of 50000 customers in one second suddenly popularity of seven uh, server increase it may it may have 75000 customer per second means the customer uh, is uh, server is having handling data at a time 50000 customer per second but the the number of uh, customers are increased from 50000 to 75000 now it might create problem because the cost the uh, server capacity is of only 50000 right now 75000 uh, customers are accessing that customer server you might be knowing that admission time lot of people are accessing the server for admission fees for filling up the forms okay in our uh, college since it is over utilized through 25000 customer may get access system may this may slow down the server this may slow down the server the response is low 25000 customers angry with your service means uh, capacity is 50000 and uh, people are access, customers are accessing 75000 so 25000 may get problem so they may not come back to organization if one customer goes will take four customer along with him this occurs a huge loss to organization you cannot have such type of service where people are interested but they are no proper resources 
so in that case if resources are not available then why uh, why the company will uh, why the customer will bear to that company customer says customer will say i will go to another college i will go to that college where customer service is good where server are good where admission process is going on within a short time okay so this should not happen in reputed colleges this occur huge loss of for you cannot have such type of service where people are interested but there are no proper resources available server is getting overworked so now you are going to realize that what is grid computing so this server is not 100% utilized means customer server is utilized but other servers uh, are not 100% utilized like production server is not 100% utilized okay so other servers are not completely utilized so there are dedicated for specific tasks but they are independent i just uh, told you that uh, every server is independent but they are independent so you cannot utilize for other task if you try to improve the situation customer are going away from you so instead why can't buy a super computer means uh, i will buy server which is of 20 lakhs or 40 lakhs or 50 lakhs and we will try to solve the problem but first super computer in india was uh, created by param you might be knowing super computer is uh, capable of handling millions of user at a time and it is cost is 10 crores remember that if you try to buy more capacity server then it cost is 10 crores that is beyond the organization that is beyond the small organization but they could not be feasible solution you are thinking for go super computer or not you still have enormous power waiting in your organization which can be powerful as super computer so there is one another solution rather than super computer and that solution is there is different computer which are not completely utilized so we will utilize all the computers in the college the workstation desktop computers have great amount of power could pull together and get dedicated into and huge capacity servers are getting overworked so so what i will do what i will do i will utilize all the server means here here i will utilize all the server at the time of admission process means uh, we can say uh, we can say we will utilize customer server which is main important handling employee server and handling production server means employee server customer server and production all server are utilized at the time of admission system so what happened if there is load on this server this server will take care of that and it will uh, it will handle some part to this server and this server and this is done by the this is uh, uh, done by the <coughs> um scheduler this is done by the scheduler scheduler in the sense scheduler what scheduler the job of scheduler is that to check whether that any server is overloaded if this server is overloaded scheduler will transfer job to this server if this server is too much overloaded then scheduler will transfer to job to this scheduler and if this server is remaining is handling um, less request then this server overload job is transferred to this okay so we are seeing how cyber security in company how company can be protected using cyber security so we will go through the next slide so user system and network access network access all user will have unique id and password to access system remember when you are doing practical in the lab or when you are doing exam in the lab or when you are doing the net exam everyone is having user name and password some of you might be have given the net exam but there are user name and password for every student for every um for every candidate who are giving the exam rules regarding the password are there 
password should not be dictionary word that's what i told you previously password should not be dictionary word with comma name verb and adverb so we are studying another slide classification of computer system security levels green green in the sense the system does not contain confidential information or perform critical services but it provides the ability to access red system through the network example user department pc used to access server and application management workstation used by system and network administration means staff can access the server okay staff can access the server staff can access the documents in the server staff can read the documents in the server staff can print documents in the server uh, so uh, they cannot perform critical action they can perform cannot perform critical action in the sense um, they should not change a permission of means um, if i am the admin and you are the uh, user so uh, admin admin permission should not be given to user so that is what about green description the system does contain confidential information that's why user is not given all the rights as the admin in windows it is called admin and linux it is called root the system does not contain confidential information or perform critical service but it provides the ability to access read system through network okay white white in the sense the system is not externally accessible it is it is on the isolated lan segment remember that unable to access red or green system it does not contain sensitive information or perform critical services now student assignments are there in um, microsoft team so that that anyone that any student can uh, A student can read their assignment, can take the printout of their assignment. It is not just like a critical information, okay? Or uh, we can say uh, some um, companies have their uh, what we call chat and this thing, uh, group chat and this thing. That that information is not critical. Anyone can read the group chat messages, okay? It does not contain sensitive information or perform critical services. So it is it is it is an isolated LAN segment. Okay, means it is related to group. A test system, just like example, a test system used by system designer and programmer to develop new computer system. That means uh, Raspberry, Python, like uh, what we can say, Raspberry, that um, iOS, uh, iOS, um, Internet of Things, IoT. internet of things in that case you run the program to raspberry so like uh, in that case you test many times that whether the program is working correctly or not and at the last moment if work correctly then you can quit okay so a uh, testing should be done by the system designer and programmer to develop new computer system red this system contain confidential information information that cannot be revealed to personal personal outside the company even without a company access to this information is provided need to know basis now in company you are having a wifi your company are having a wifi and wifi password should be known only to the admin or that um, um, system engineer hardware or uh, system engineer uh, should know the uh use the password anyone should not know the password because the password is very crucial information it may happen that some unknown person come in your company and he will ask for uh, internet access and he will ask for uh, wifi password and uh, he will bring four to five people and then unnecessary everyone will access the internet and it may happen that uh, due to which your network may go down and so your company work may also go down so password should uh, so these are the confidential things that could not be shared okay and your server password your lab we are having a lab uh, 
BCS lab, MCS lab, and server password is very very important. It is very crucial. It should not be shared because it may student may take the misuse of that uh, in the lab. So that is also important. Even if the company access to information provided, need to know the basis. The system provides mission critical services vital to the operation of the business. Failure of this system may have life threatening consequences and or adverse financial impact on business of the company. If anybody knows that how the salaries of uh, employees are generated by which software, you may you may notice that uh, there was there was a problem with income tax return. So it is uh, finally supported uh, to one company, but there was the problem with income tax return. So these are the things which are very very crucial and which have adverse impact on the business of the company. Server containing confidential information, data, other department information on database, network router and firewall containing confidential routing tables and security information. You might be knowing that we are having a firewall which was co which was cost like um, four to five lakhs why we have taken such type of firewall because uh, we, uh, we want we don't want that your crucial information of organization may be stolen by anybody else you might be knowing that we have studied firewall application uh, level firewall okay so firewall in the sense uh, if you are uh, accessing the study youtube if you are accessing the study youtube then it's um, regularly regularly so your firewall will allow that only uh, site to access you and if any unknown friend of you uh, try to access movie from your same pc from where you are accessing youtube of uh, education uh, uh, youtube so it will not allow so that that is about the firewall confidential routing tables and security the system is externally accessible. It is isolated from red or green system by firewall. While it performs important services, it does not contain confidential information. So black in the sense, it performs services, important service does not contain confidential information. Like exam is going on in the lab or company interviews are going in the lab online. So this thing, the public web server with non-sensitive information. So people are come in company for uh, enter for interview and they are conducting the online exam from the public web server of the company. So this may uh, doesn't contain uh, non-sensitive information. This contain non-sensitive information. Thank you. So we have completed one part of cyber security module two. Thank you.